Thank you, Francis Ogbe. That's some deep research there. The issues that can affect our ports and by association affect Nigerians, especially those who are doing vibrant, legitimate business and want our economy to grow and people to prosper. So let's focus on the challenges of cargo movement within our country. Coming in, going out, and it's an excellent time to have a chat with the Minister for Transportation. He is here with us. Right Honorable Chibuike Rotimi Amechi. Hello, sir. Good morning. Great to have you on our show today. My pleasure. Fantastic. When we're listening to uh, some of that feature, there was talk about uh, Mask Line birthing at One Port last year. They said the biggest vessel to come into, to birth at any port in Nigeria. Wow. Have we had more of that happening? And for yes, should we be celebrating that one big vessel birth in the airport? It shows how much we lack infrastructure. Uh, the problem with the Nigerian, and I, I, I have had this argument with uh, Fashola, when I trip back at the uh, uh, maritime personnel, they confirm what I said, that we don't have seaports yet in Nigeria, what we have uh, river ports. The tea of the the tea of the sea. All all our ports tea of the sea. Until you have a port that is right there at the sea, then the death, the draft, will become critical. Now you can't birth uh, an a 16 meter vessel in an 11 meter seaport. How to go to run aground? So. I think the, what must have happened in the neck, because the neck actually is, is slightly between 11 and 12 meters. So the neck can take that. Maybe the vessel that came was, must be about 11 or, or 12 draft. Now, what, Niger, what the Nigerian government is doing is the Nigerian government is constructing some new, what you can refer to as seaports. Then they can take bigger vessels, and bigger vessels will then come to Nigeria because they will need to uh, discharge more cargoes. So what the, there are a lot of issue, uh, factors that determine what kind of vessels that come. The, the biggest factor that determines so that a big vessel will come to your, will call to your port or not is the draft of your port. I've said here, if your draft is 10, 11 meters, you don't expect a 16 meter uh, uh, vessel to come into your, into your port. Now, I'm sure that by the time we complete Lekki, we're completing Lekki next year, next year, 2022, uh, commercial activities in Lekki should start by next year, maybe between June and October. By the time we complete that, we won't be celebrating the, arri the arrival of a big vessel because the vessels that we call there will be big vessels, vessels of, of about 16 meters. Then Nigeria shouldn't be celebrating, oh, we received 16 meters because it is a common feature. It's a common norm. No. If we commence the construction of Bonin Deep Sea Port, you will have vessels of 16, 17 meters that will birth there because the draft for that Bonnet seaport will be about 16 to 17 meters. With the same thing in Wari, we are looking for we are looking for where to construct the port in Wari. We are having big challenge in that. But there's one already existing there. Uh, what is the draft? I doubt if it's you know, if it's you know, up to 10 meter draft. And the seeds regularly, you have to deceive regularly. They are more expensive to maintain. Our ports are more expensive to maintain. So you have uh, a contracting firm that has to consistently be doing dredging. And Nigerians are beginning to wonder why we should be doing that. I, I looked at, uh, and that's why I told NPA that they can't proceed. I looked at how much it costs us for, to do dredging. Uh, when I saw the contract that uh, uh, NPA was about to award before I stopped them, one is 43 billion naira every year for 15 years. One is 23 billion naira every year for, for 15 years. Uh, which other one? That is, well, the third one is about 30 something billion naira. Is that what we're going to be spending every year? It's not cost effective. Exactly. And you see, that's why I say we public officers must love Nigeria. We public officers must love Nigeria. We must do, even if MPA comes forward to say, look, we are not yet ready because we couldn't buy it. They must put it in their budget next year. Mm. So that. By, by the time we buy the equipment ourselves and begin to dredge, then we'll reduce the cost. That's, that's the, the main reason why I, I disagree with the management of MPA and say, listen, we can't be paying this kind of money every year for 15 Just to years. maintain and manage. Not even maintain, just the draft. That's the, that's the, that's the dredging. Finish. To allow vessels to go in and come out. And imagine 43 billion naira a year. So in the year, uh, in 
the budget, the NPA budget, whatever it is, they are spending 43, 23, 32. It's about nearly 100 billion naira. Just to judge. Exactly. I wasn't like that previously. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, that is not cost effective. So of course you are looking at ways where that money can be properly utilized. Exactly. In our so, best interest. So even if MPA says, well, like that's the case they are making, oh, they don't have it in their budget, so they.